Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Life Coach D coming back at you, and I'm coming at you with more of Vision Chronicles. So I do believe I left off my junior year and some of the experiences that had happened when I moved back on the campus. And so once again, that was an amazing start to the year. But I spoke a little bit in the last video about the sixth sense and the spiritual side of me. And I'll never forget um, having a premonition that uh, it was time for me to leave Tennessee State. So let me back up now. So I'm going to go back to that same era in the very first video where I talked about that seven to nine year old who had begun to lose vision. So right before I do believe my vision started leaving uh, in a significant way, I'll never forget I was sitting in, a, in our home, Ottawa, 81 Ottawa Drive in Pontiac, Michigan, the Seminole Hills. Uh, and it was crazy because I was watching Wheel of Fortune. Now, mind you, I'm like seven to eight years old, and I remember this so vividly. But I remember watching Wheel of Fortune, Pat Sajak, and Vanna White. And this is years ago now. And I remember when the intro came on, it showed these palm trees, and it showed, you know, the silhouette of Hollywood. And at that very moment, there was a connection to me in California. And I said to myself, I'm going to be in California. Okay, so let me fast forward back to Tennessee State. And so me being reminded of that premonition, I really felt like God spoke to me so clear. And he told me to go to the local library. This is long before actually going to Google and looking up a search engine. You literally had to go to the library and pull up, you know, articles and pull out books and microfiche and everything else. And I remember looking up film schools because I'd always wanted to be in film. And I went to Tennessee State as a communication major. I failed to to mention that. Two things, let me mention. I went to Tennessee State for two reasons. One, because of Oprah Winfrey and the communications program. I knew I always wanted to be in journalism or uh, in, in that career of some way. Journalism, I wanted to do acting, a little bit of everything. Anything I put my mind to and I wanted to do it. And so um, I'd done a little speech debate in high school. I did some acting classes in high school, did drama and all of that. And so I kind of knew that that's the avenue that I wanted to take. And so I'm tying all of these knots in, sorry, because obviously I'm trying to tell a story from from many, many years ago. So I'm just trying to connect all the dots so they make sense to you, the listener. Obviously, if you're looking at this video, you might have to go back to some of the idiot, other videos, excuse me, to have it make sense. And with that being said, the two reasons was for their amazing communication program, but also for track and field. And I was excited going into my freshman year. And this is the reason I ended up in the band, to be honest. When I got there, I realized that they switched conferences and they went from the SWAC, which is the Southwestern Athletic Conference, to the OVC that summer. And the OVC kicked out me. So the devastation that I felt was crazy because I realized at that point, one of the dreams that I had aspired to attain wasn't going to be at least through the normal means and so um, I went through the motion started running and training with a club on the campus uh, but it just wasn't the same because my peers were my coaches and there was nothing uh, uh, to appeal me and to keep my attention so <clears throat> at that moment track ended up being something that I didn't do so going back to me going to the library, I began to research film schools and out of the 23 schools that I looked up, I remember that five of them were in New York and the other 18 were in California. And I thought to myself, ah, New York is like home. I'm going to California. And so um, that's something I prayerfully considered. I pondered over it, I thought about it, prayed about it, but then I had to go and tell my mom about it. And so, when I told her, she was like, are you crazy? You don't know anybody in California. She gave me this whole song and dance. But anytime I told my mom, I felt like God spoke to me. She would always believe me. I said, mom, I feel like God is telling me this. And she said, okay, if you're saying it's God, I'm still concerned, I'm still worried. But... If you feel like that's what you need to do. So I began to plan from my junior year all the way into my fourth year uh, that I would be leaving. And so I did not attain my degree at Tennessee State. I, after a lot of uh, planning, praying, moved back home for that summer. And I felt like God spoke to me that I would be living in California by October 1st of 1992. And as sure as I'm here telling you guys this story, I went to visit on the 25th of August. At that point, uh, my mom was like, well, why don't you go visit some friends and family that are in Oceanside in the military? Maybe you can, you know, 
pivot there and then end up making make your way to LA that way. And I was like, yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll start there. And that's what's, what I'm going to do. So I'm here to tell you that I did that. Um, I had a roommate. I had a place to stay and everything within that. I believe it was a one week's trip. And I literally flew to California on October 1st and I was living here. But October 1st is what I, is what I heard. And I actually was living in California by October 1st of 1992. And so um, that's just a little bit more of that story. And I'll tell you more in the next video. Remember that your lives are very valuable. Much love, God bless, peace be the journey, and Vision Chronicles will continue.